Hey guys, so if you haven't seen um, my announcement video, we are pregnant! Um, this is baby number two for us and we are completely excited and just overjoyed. Um, I am six weeks and three days and the due date is February 11th, 2014. So the really exciting part about the due date is that's my dad's birthday. So it's kind of a big deal um, because as most of you know, my dad is not with us and he hasn't been for over three years now. So it's just really neat that the due date is my dad's birthday. So um, anyways, I'm just going to get into it. I'll probably have, by the time you guys see this, I'll probably be anywhere from 10 to 13 weeks. I have no idea. Okay, I have no idea where I was at. Where were we at, Brava? Where were we at? Okay, so I'm not sure when you guys will be seeing this. Um, probably after an announcement video, but I'll probably be anywhere from 10 to 13 weeks. And um, that's just because um, I did have a miscarriage last year and it just sucked like telling everybody and then telling everyone I wasn't pregnant and like even up to a month after I had miscarried people were still like oh how, how's the baby and stuff and I had to constantly tell people that we miscarried so we just don't really want to have to do that again um and I'll kind of make a separate video video a separate video explaining all that um but yeah let's just go over symptoms and all that stuff so I'm six weeks three days um I believe the baby's the size of a blueberry um symptoms that I've been having. So I wasn't not um, nauseous up until like the day before yesterday, um, but the last couple days I've been kind of not feeling that great and um, it's nothing unbearable. I can still get on through the day. Like I just kind of feel a little crummy, um, just a little bit nauseous, no throwing up. Um, I'm not hungry really. Like I never really have an appetite, but if I don't eat anything then I get kind of shaky and stuff. So I've been eating healthier like having a bowl of Cheerios in the morning, um, having like crackers and cheese for a snack, then having like a sandwich, um, having fruits, I've been making crepes, so I've been eating healthier and like smaller, smaller meals, but more meals. I'm so thirsty, like at night I wake up all the time to drink water, but my mouth is like constantly dry no matter how much water I drink. And then I'm like constantly waking up to pee. It's so annoying. I pee like four or five times at night. It's really annoying. My breasts have been like, not the breast, <laughs> more specifically the nipple has been like really tender lately. Like just touching it, oh, it hurts. And that's like a new symptom too that just started um, within the last few days. I've been not so much lately, but like when I was around five weeks and kind of when I found out that I was pregnant, I had heartburn like every time I would eat something I was constantly like kind of having indigestion and heartburn no matter what it was that I ate but that's kind of going away now. I'm tired like all the time like even right when I wake up in the morning I'm like oh I want to go back to bed. So I've been kind of taking naps when Brava takes her naps. This is a pain that I got when I was pregnant with Brava also and um basically if I, I like if I'm laying down or I'm sitting down and I get up really fast, I have like this lower pain um, kind of above my pubic area and it just kind of hurts. Like it's kind of like a, not crampy, because it goes away really quick. It's like about five seconds that it hurts and it goes away, but it's just kind of a crampy, sore pain. But I had that with her too and I had a completely healthy pregnancy with her. The only craving that I'm having lately because like I said I don't, I don't really have an appetite and I've noticed that um, I have eaten bad a couple times my husband went and got pizza and then we got Taco Bell the other night and like when I'm eating it I'm just like oh why am I eating this because it makes me like even more nauseous so I am like refusing bad food because it just like doesn't appeal to me but the only craving that I'm really having right now is grapes. I just want grapes so bad and we keep saying we're gonna go to the store and we just keep like putting it off. So I need to go to the store like tonight or tomorrow and get some grapes because I've been craving it like, oh my gosh, I just want grapes. Um, exercise. I've been going on walks. I haven't the last couple days just because it's been really like 
crappy lately. It's been like raining. I mean, it hasn't been like today and stuff, but then I've been like kind of tired and stuff. But um, I've been going for walks and I'm gonna try and start going to the gym with my husband. Um, but I'm really not going hard. Like I, I've been doing the resistant bands too for my arms at home. Um, but I'm really not really going hard on the exercising because of my miscarriage. I just want to okay it with my midwives and um, I just don't want anything to happen. So I'm just being a little bit more cautious with that kind of stuff. So um, once I get the okay for my midwives, then I'll start really like going for nice walks and um, probably doing weights for my arms. Nothing rigorous or hard or anything. Just um, I want to stay in shape for this pregnancy. I wasn't in shape for, with Brava. I like never exercised. The only time I exercised was when I was overdue for her and that's when we go for long walks and I just felt like I didn't feel like crap but I just felt so heavy from putting on so much weight and then not working out. I just felt I feel like my recovery and everything from having her would have gone a lot faster if I would have exercised and um, not gained so much weight. My first appointment is July 1st and that's like what? Let's see. What baby? You ready to get down? I think my first appointment's like nine days away, so I'm like super excited. I'm not counting on hearing the heartbeat just because um, I think by my appointment I'll be like eight, almost eight weeks or yeah. I'm not counting on it because I'll be like almost eight weeks and I know we didn't hear Brava's heartbeat the first um, appointment. We didn't hear hers until I think it was 11 weeks, so it'd be cool if we got to hear the heartbeat, but I'm not keeping my hopes up for that. Um, so yeah, we decided to go with the midwives. We had midwives for my daughter, my Brava, for my daughter, and um, everything went well with her. I didn't have a C-section. I had her vaginally. I was only in labor for 12 hours. I pushed for an hour. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm going to do different as far as labor and delivery, but um, overall I really liked the midwives. and. Um, even though I was impatient for her to come and I really wanted to get induced, she came on her own time and um, I'm really thankful that they didn't induce me. So, um, yeah, I think I have everything covered. I'm not really gonna go into, I mean, I might later, but I'm not really gonna go into like what's developing the baby, otherwise this video will be forever. So, anyways, we're really excited and we can't wait and we just feel very blessed to be adding another member to the family. So yeah, um, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be having lots more videos like this. So yeah, I will see you guys later, bye.